All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I actually have a backlog of viewer request videos, which is so, so cool. I'm telling you, nothing is more humbling than having people ask me to cover stock. So I'm gonna be looking at Foxo, F-O-X-O, as well as HKD, okay? I'll be honest, this is an interesting chart right here, okay? You know I'm gonna talk about the technical shortly, but broke two important lines, broke one of my resistances. I'm seeing some nice little green ticks over here. There's there's things to like here, okay? So I will um, get to the details shortly, but real quick, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We have our five five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like, subscribe, if you can share this video on social media, if you can just comment on this, anything you do really, really does help with the YouTube algorithms. But hey, just being here and giving me your time is beyond appreciated, all right? And look, I'm not perfect, I'm not all-knowing, and yeah, if you have better opinions than me, please let me know, all right? We are simply educated people sharing our thoughts here, okay? So look, let's get into it. It's been a while since I've covered this. And hey, I got a general question. Is this an AI stock? I'm, I'm seeing some people say yes. I'm seeing some people say no. Obviously, the word technology is in the name, right? But I can't really tell if this is a legit AI stock or if it's just like a, a sympathy play, for lack of words. So yeah, if you know, I would greatly appreciate that, okay? But look, what are we doing right now? We're, we're battling with the 8 and the 20, right? You can see, let me just zoom out a little bit more. Oh man, look at this thing. Good things happen to this when it's over the eight and the 20. It definitely knows how to sustain it and then take off. That's beautiful to know. And it wasn't that long ago that we did this, okay? Um, under the eight and under the 20, we try to take the 20 once. We try to take the 20 twice. Hey, we've now taken it three times. Is that going to be enough? Let's see, right? And that's that's ultimately what we care about, all right? I love that this MACD looks like we got the separation. Green over red is good. Green over red, again, the separation. And that's a decently healthy number. There's plenty of room for this to go up before, you know, it seems like it's overbought, right? So I generally get worried around 80, give or take. The one thing that does suck is volume, all right? So the 50 moving average is super important, right? And you can see, aside from this January, February move, there's been pretty insignificant volume, right? And as you go away, you can see that line quickly drops, especially right now, right? The one kind of good thing is it'll be a lot easier to hit the 50 moving average now that we've come down from, what, three and a half million to under two and a half, give or take? Where is this? Yeah, under almost one and a half shit, right? So um, that might help, right? And again, if you can break the 50 average volume, that's a really big thing. And yeah, it's obviously easier to do it when the line's here than when the line's here, right? So maybe this kind of helps. And that's been a good two days, right? Yesterday we had... 400k today obviously you see we have 700k let's see if tomorrow can actually get into the millions if not million and a half right and i mean look red 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 a little plateau right here and then red 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 again right so if we can just get to this that's a decent swing right there on its own right going from 30 from 40 cents to like 50 that's that's a that's a real quick 20 percent right and then these two lines are pretty much right on this plateau right so breaking that 50 right there oh man yeah because i mean really after 70 cents we'll for sure put this i think 70 cents is going to be a real big money line because after 70 red 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 green 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 little resistance to a little more than a 2x move right here Foxo at 71. Can you tell I live in LA with that little uh, Foxo or Foxo, whatever? Um, <laughs> I'm going to set the alert at 71. I realize 71 is much, much higher than we're at now. Honestly, I will probably set the alert at 40 cents. I just let me know if we're going up and look, we've smashed two moving averages. I would, I would say the expectation kind of is 42 cents. We really got to close at 42 cents tomorrow to sincerely believe we've taken this man. Breaking this is obviously going to be juicy, 44. But again, the the squeeze might not be there because we have all this cluster. But yeah, just 
70 cents up, man, is, is really, really where the juice is. So I think this is a little bit more of your, your risk reward play, right? And real quick, let me just see what this trend line looks like. Where's the trend line? I've been drawing this a little bit more. I think the, the system actually updated itself to like make it a little better in my opinion. So shit, you see how it kind of like, it, it auto clicks. I hate when it does that. So the first place I would draw it would be there. Clearly that's broken, right? So I'm pretty much gonna take it, sorry, one sec, right there, to the top of this guy from here. Today broke that downtrend. That's actually, a, we not only broke the downtrend, we broke the horizontal and we broke two moving averages. This was a big candle, all right? It, it really might wanna give the run here and then again, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. It's beautiful after 70, okay? Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the trend line. I'm obviously gonna ignore the trend line a little bit more here, but um, yeah, I think running to the eight moving average at 44 is probably a realistic first wall. And then 54 is that next wall, right? So yeah, that's 54 has to be around here. Yeah, exactly right here, right? So um, yeah, there's some interesting things happening here. I'm gonna say that one last time. Um, I'll be watching this tomorrow for sure. Did I set the alert at 40? I don't think I did. Um, I'm actually going to set it at 41. I don't like zeros and fives. It's just something of mine. So um, let me know that we got two cents over. And, and yeah, folks, so you might be on my radar tomorrow. HKD. All right, let's 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 look at HKD. Clearly, there was a monster day yesterday. I got real busy yesterday. I wanted to make a couple more videos, but I couldn't. All right. Listen, I've covered this stock a couple times. All right. And, and I basically said beautiful things happen over the eight. This bad boy cannot get over the eight and the 20 for the life of it, all right? You get a nice little moment over it, but it's unsustained, right? You get, sorry, you, come on, baby. You get a nice little horizontal that doesn't really break it, right? And then it fails, a hard jump and a hard fail, another little sustained, we get a hard jump, and then it looks like a pretty bad fail, right? So I do not like that we fell below 50% candle. This is definitely lower than 50%, right? You know I'm a ballparker. I think anywhere in here, would have been okay, right? I think between that 770 and 760, I would have called 50% candle. We're definitely, we've eat, we lost two thirds, right? I think we've lost 66% of that candle from yesterday, right? That's not a good thing. I'm glad we at least held this, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I mean, I barely believe that we've taken the eight and the 20, right? So to, to come up to the 50 and lose it is really no surprise to me. I think what ultimately matters here is do we hit this and bounce or can we actually go back over the 50? Like for me, yeah, for me, I really think I would set an alert at 811, 812. I think that's a decent place to like, actually consider coming back in here because hey, we don't even come down here if we can just come back here. But again, I care more about how this closes, right? Because look, this bad boy actually gaps all the way up here, makes a little peak above a nine and then drops to 750, right? So I'm telling you with this one, I'm more than happy giving up a little bit of a run. And honestly, I probably would almost never trade this unless, unless these two lines start going up a lot more, right? Like it, the, the orange one is especially like the eight's going to move a lot quicker than the 20, right? So it, you, you can just see that this 20 has been going down, trying to curve, ends up going back down, not even really curving up yet, right? So if the eight and the 20 end up going like this, yeah, this will be a completely different stock, right? But for now, I, I, I just don't believe that we're talking about the 50 yet. I still think we need a little bit more to prove this. And for me, generally that means coming down to it and bouncing off of it. Once you can bounce off a line, that's how in my book I'll say, okay, you've now become my friend. You're no longer this like impossible burden to get over, this impossible burden to get over, right? Like these three days in my book, honestly, 
are just a little anomaly like these two. It's just a little anomaly like this one. It's not like this sustained green run that was well over and beautifully riding the eight moving average, right? Like we are continually failing these lines and we've seen the moments where it goes up, right? And obviously a violent gap is gonna do that. But until it seems sustained, I'm not there yet. Breaking the 50, breaking this 810 number is gonna do a lot. More than anything, seeing how we react to like 720, I think will matter a lot more tomorrow. I'll quickly flash the weekly. It's a little bit more interesting of a weekly than I expected. We're close to breaking the eight moving average. Look, we're, in the, we're a little past the middle of the week, right? Tomorrow's Thursday, so um, hey, get over the eight moving average on the weekly. Something we haven't done in a long time. I haven't done it since January, right? At the very minimum. So it would only be the second time it's actually happened since the eight formed on the weekly, right? Like none of these had an eight yet, right? So um, interesting though. I, I wasn't expecting this to be as close. However, though, just again, keep in mind, we've seen this happen on the daily. It gets so close. It actually like looks like it should smash. It gets so close. It actually looks, right? So the same thing we see on the daily, we might see on the weekly. Sorry to zoom in and out like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really skeptical about this stock until it proves me a little more. I've said that the last time I covered it. I'm for sure still saying it today. So um, hey, if you disagree with anything on this video, please let me know. Otherwise, you know I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you.